Now, this section, I won't say a real lot about it, but 19... Oh, the 5th of, May, 5th of May 1947, uh, there was a bad accident through here. A, a, um, a, a picnic train derailed. There's a plaque here telling you all about it. Like I say, I, I won't go into it too much. Anyhow, it continues, the track continues on here, around through another cutting. Right, this is rather a narrow cutting, it's interesting through here, through the rocks. I'll go for a bit of a walk. There's several places where rocks have fell down. If you was coming through here in the old days in a train or a, in later years they run a lot of rail motors on here. I don't think they ever run diesels because it closed in 1954. I don't think they had diesels then. But they run a number of um, rail motors which had like petrol or diesel engines underneath them. The Queensland Rail had a collection of old rail motors up into oh up until about the 90s they, they had silver looking rail motors they used to run and then in uh, and they had a collection of old wooden carriages which were death traps you had to open the doors yourself reach out through the window and open the doors yourself and then in about 1982 they gradually phased, phased in the electric trains they also had bud rail cars which was interesting at one stage in about the 1950s I was going to 1950s, 1960s I was going to electrify the train line but then the country party government got in and they stopped it but they still had these electric bud rail cars ordered so they, they got them and what they did was absolutely silly they towed them behind steam engines electric rail cars and they towed them behind steam engines and they were still up until about the 90s they was towing them behind uh, behind diesel engines and then then they completely phased in the the electric, electric trains sets. Yeah, Australia's unique to do with the gauges of the railway line, which is silly, it's still silly. Queensland is is um, three, three feet six inches as far as I can remember. Yeah, three feet six inches. Nor all Queensland. There's something like 27,000 kilometres or some ridiculous amount. And then there's a little tiny bit of four feet eight and a half inches, which is standard gauge, which is the American as far as in Canadian. In Queensland, it goes into New South Wales. New South Wales is all standard gauge, four feet eight and a half inches. And then parts of Victoria are uh, five feet three inches. And then Adelaide, I think, used to have nearly the lot, the three three lots of them, uh, three feet six, four foot eight and a half inches and five foot three and then um, 
No, wait a minute, I might be wrong about that. No, no, Victoria, Victoria only had um, some standard gauge and three foot, um, five foot three inches. Gets a bit confusing. Adelaide had had the whole three, and then Perth had three foot six inches, and Tasmania's got three foot six inches. But during the world. World War II it was a nightmare because they had to change. Some places they actually used to change the bogies on the trains, which is stupid as it seems. Had these workshops where they could lift the cars up and change the, the bogies. But it's crazy, it's still crazy. Right, a line comes down here, a lot of curbs down through here through another cutting. It would have um, been tried, a lot of this line would have been tried to climb for steam engines. They would have been working real hard, especially coming back. And the photographs I've seen, a lot of this section was just open paddocks in them days. There wasn't many trees, some it was open paddocks, there wasn't many trees. But it's, there's all trees in here now. That's my trusty push bike over there. In Queensland we call them push bikes. Right, this is the end of the ride as far as I'm going. This is where the, the gate is, they built a new gate too. Uh, that's my push bike there. It goes out in the main road and you can go to Sanford. There's some nice shops there, you can buy fish and chips and that, but I'm not going to do that today. Anyhow, the best times to come on this ride are uh, either in the in the autumn before winter or, or during winter or, or just in the in the spring when it's starting to get starting to get hot again but it's it's um it's not october yet and it's it's very it's been very hot it's about 30 degrees celsius here today so um it's quite a nice ride to come on. You can come in your car too and, and come um, and come to where the water starts to walk. Or you can walk to the Ferning Grove Station if you like. It's only probably five kilometres or something all together to this, to this section. But the best way is to do it on a push bike. Anyhow, this is the end of me talk. I hope, hope you found it, found it interesting. I probably, I might put this film on YouTube in two sections. I, or I may put it on one, I'll see.